this little wood piece that fits around half of this little rich watch that I did take apart before I started this little creation. This little piece fitted perfect so I am going to trace around it and cut out one more part just like this. So now I can make the frame around the clock. I am going to cut a little indent in the smaller part so that I can have a touch around this little uh, dial thing at the top of the clock. I glued the two parts together but make sure that you don't uh, glue this little dial thing on the top so you can't set your watch again. Then I took some self-adhesive wood veneer and I made two circles so the inner circle fits on the dial of the clock. It's just a little tinier and it uh, matches the size of the wood thing that we just glued on the little clock. And I made one more with the same size of the inner circle but that isn't that wide as the other one. Then I measured out on this little piece where this uh, dial thing is and cut out the little notch in it. And now I'm just sticking it in place. Then I take the smaller ring and I'm going to stick that in place as well. I sand it a bit so it's nice, neat and soft to the touch. And I decided to glaze it all. Don't hit the clock itself. And you don't need to do this if you don't want to, but I think it will give it a nicer finish in the end. As this is going to be on the work table in the watchmaker's den, I decided to make a stand for this little watch. This way it is possible to see all the details in the back also. I filed an angle into the frame of the watch so that I could glue on the little foot and the watch would stand in this little angle and look really cute. I filed the foot a little and then I glazed it and that's all there is for this little watch. I am going to buy some batteries here soon so I can get it in there because this little watch is actually working. I'm also going to make two simple shelves. These are going to hang on the back wall over the work disc. I'm using popsicles for that and I am marking the 6 centimeters, and that's the length of the shelf. Then I have four small pieces of popsicle that I used for something else and I'm just going to connect them with some painter's tape or washi tape. 
I'm going to use these as the support under the shelves and I want them to have a small design so I'm just drawing what I want to. Then I'm going to take them to my scroll saw and I'm going to saw everything. I'm going to sand all the pieces a tiny bit and after that I'm going to glue them together with my super glue gel. Glue both shelf like this and that's all there is for this little shelf. Now I just need to put them into my little room and I'm done. I hope you liked this video, thank you for watching and happy crafting!